Hi, welcome to Sire Channel. I'm Hernan Diaz Alonso. I'm the director of Sire, and I'm here with David Rue, who is co-curating with me a show called Close Up that they will open March here in our gallery. Clearly, in the last 20, 25 years, there has been a whole series of shifts in how we think, we produce, and re-speculate. And one of the arguments that we're trying to do with the show, uh, so the title Close Up, is there's a notion of the zooming in and zooming out as a different way that change of scale that was traditional the method for design production of details. And, but also we want to reveal that certain things are changing and certain things are not changing as much and sometimes we think or we said. So part of the ambition is we invited uh, 16 different firms with from different backgrounds, even one of them that is not an architectural firm, to give us a speculative answer to this problem. Mm. It may be the case that now that we have the computer and we can continuously zoom in or zoom out to any degree of magnification, that the idea that certain ideas reside only at the quarter inch scale or half inch scale might be uh, simply nostalgic. And I think it's uh, something that we would like to uh, explore, like what might have changed in the status of these scales and what we see when we look at architecture closer up. So part of the issue is also how the, if the tectonic still is the right filter to see some of these issues. So also that they, we, we wanted to have like a very diverse group of architects uh, from different generations and different level of success in their own practices. We will see some details of projects that are much more close to realization. Some of them are highly speculative and some of them are even borderline outside the tradition of our discipline. This is um, certainly not the first group show, but I would argue it's certainly the first uh, group show that tried to un unravel uh, a contemporary problem. I mean, it's not like an historical revision and so on. Also, we are being very specific into the limit. It's, it's a very constrained show. It's very simple in terms of design. It's all about these pieces. Um, so in a way, is not they're not really installation. They're truly prototypes uh, from one to one to one ten to one twenty scales. And I'm really trying to tackle on this. So um, I'm very pleased because I, I really don't think that there are many shows for sure in the last twenty years that then tackle on this issue. So I think it can potentially open. Uh, new possibilities of conversation. I remember already two years ago, uh, you were uh, bringing up this issue of making a transition conceptually from the detail to the close-up. In that time, I, I have been thinking quite a bit about this, that uh, when uh, cinema first appeared, and uh, the only thing like cinema previously may be uh, literature in a novel, and uh, novels written in third person, the eye is moving in and out of the scene, and uh, something unique happened in cinema where you have that close-up shot and something completely new was possible just because of that technical format. So I think uh, it, it is interesting to uh, think that now that we have uh, new technologies and uh, the computer modes of design that will allow us to magnify and get really close up. And just like doing the close up of the actor's face, you see something different that you don't see in the in the wide shot. And as always, is part of the pedagogy of the curriculum of the school. So many many of our students are going to be involved with the different offices fabricating and assembling these pieces, which we consider is a crucial aspect of it. It's not a gallery, even museum. So it's a gallery in which uh, the the idea of failure or the idea of testing or uh, exploring idea is part of it. Of the argument, so to me, in that sense, like the notion and the possibility that we have 16, 17 different firms, each of them working with a group of three or four students in it, I think also create an interesting buzz within the school, in terms of it, which I think it changed the logic of many of the shows that we've been doing. In that respect, it's a unique opportunity, I think, because uh, oftentimes uh, uh, there's a lack in opportunities to zoom in on the work, uh, for the most part. Uh, Perhaps uh, maybe we see it in prototyping, say, a wall section and so on, but uh, to take a more theoretical attitude towards looking at uh, these projects, some well-known uh, that are going to be represented in the show, and to get very close to it and to see what ideas reside there, I think is a 
pretty unique uh, exhibition. I think we very purposely uh, took a very uh, wide cross-section through the field where it's ranging from Pritzker Prize winning architects to mid-career to emerging and also some uh, outliers that uh, maybe we wouldn't say are doing specifically architectural projects, but all of these uh, individuals curated in the show have a unique take on what it means to uh, do the close-up on the designed object. People like Frank Gehry, Tom Main, UN Studio, Ben Van Bergen, Caroline Boss, um, Greg Linform, to younger practitioners. Such as uh, Theosopropolis of Minima Forms in the UK, to Young Ayata in New York, uh, SU-11 Fair to Colaton in New York, uh, and we also have uh, some perhaps uh, uh, unique choices uh, to include in the show, like Lucy McRae, uh, who refers to herself as a body architect. And, uh, and also, uh, I also thought it would be interesting to include uh, an artist uh, such as Nurit Barshai, who is uh, uh, making art from bacteria, delivering content through a magnification. We have some of our own faculty and leaders of the school involved, like the Tom Wiscon, Elena Manferdini, um, um, Euler Boo, and among others. So, is a really interesting and diverse group of people. I think it required a, a, a wider cut because uh, uh, it's not uh, entirely obvious uh, what might be different uh, in the problem of the architectural details. So it is a speculative uh, project on our part to curate it uh, in this way. So please come back and check on the channel for more information on this show or check our website www.sayak.edu for the schedule of the opening, um, a panel discussion between David, myself, Mark Garcia, a theorist from London, and the participants of the show. Thank you for watching.